cold weather hitting people in the Merrimack Valley especially hard this Thanksgiving. So today, the community rallied around the victims of the gas explosions and fires, bringing them Thanksgiving and helping to protect their homes. WBZ's Christina Rex has the latest from Lawrence. Restaurant turkey dinners in a box, a reality for thousands of Merrimack Valley residents this Thanksgiving as they still wait for working stoves and heated homes. I'm very unhappy about it, but got to do what we got to do. Marcus Morton waits in line for the dinner he'll bring back to his family of six in its hotel room. He recently learned that hotel stay is extended to December 19th, despite a December 16th deadline for Columbia Gas to get everyone's heat turned on. December 16th is still the, the date, that's that, uh, but we're, we're working faster than that, and the homes are being completed at a faster pace. On a brutally cold Thanksgiving day, Lawrence police and dozens of volunteers stay outside to distribute dinners, including newly elected Congresswoman Lori Trahan. This has been going on way too long, and uh, we never thought we'd be... Uh, you know, celebrating Thanksgiving with so many people still displaced. And so, you know, we want to make sure people have a, a good holiday. When the guests come in, we're going to greet them like we would be greeting them at any restaurant. Columbia Gas is providing 16,000 Thanksgiving meals in the Merrimack Valley. Residents pre registered for dinners, but local restaurant Tuscan Kitchen made extra food so that no one would be turned away. For those who had no warm homes to go to, a group sit down meal was provided in tents. I don't have a place to cook. Well, there and the RV is not a lot of space. Evelyn Corona and her family of six have lived in a small RV for months. Her four year old triplets excited for the opportunity to stretch their legs and get out of the trailer for a warm meal. It was exciting. I said, let's go to eat out. They were thinking that we we're going to eat in the backyard. She doesn't know when she'll be allowed home, but says she's grateful for a warm Thanksgiving meal for her kids after a tough few months. In Lawrence, Christina Rex, WBZ News.